कैसे 2025 aspirants hope all of you are doing really well and preparing very hard for your exams so to crack any exam one of the key thing one of the first step that you should do is to understand your syllabus now understanding syllabus is not just looking at the chapters what will be asked it is also about understanding the weightage of each and every chapter okay so that you can devote your time strategically you can give more time to the high weightage topics and less time to the low priority topics now for kset examination we all know that the syllabus is your pu1 and pu2 syllabus right but how much exactly pu2 will be asked how much exactly pu1 will be asked i have received a lot of comments from you people like uh, ma'am if we do only pu2 is it enough if i do both pu1 and pu2 is it enough right so so many questions i have come so i have uh, in this video given you a detailed analysis of pu1 and pu2 syllabus and i will also be telling you where you have to invest more time i'll also be telling you the number of questions you can expect from each chapter of physics chemistry and maths okay so let's dive in very important video it will help you to manage your time to divide your time efficiently between the chapters okay so first of all let's see what all things we have in today's session so we will be discussing chemistry pu1 and pu2 syllabus physics and then maths now when i'm telling syllabus i will discuss i'm not going to tell you the chapter's name i have told you many times we already know that what i will be telling you which is very important is the number of expected questions okay now this number of expected questions how i have drawn is by analyzing last 10 years of kset papers okay so we have gone through each and every year chapter questions everything and then we have brought this video okay next we have preparation strategy so if i am telling you syllabus we know it is a vast syllabus so how exactly can you do or cover the syllabus and get a very good rank and next we have something uh, like i'll be also telling you what all things will be coming up in this channel that will help you to boost your preparation okay so let's get started here coming to the chapter wise weightage of chemistry so you can find almost six questions from solutions electrochemistry five questions chemical kinetics five questions dnf block five questions coordination compound four questions and all the i can say the organic compounds four questions okay so this is an expected number it can vary by plus minus one okay so it can be also like here also we can expect four questions here we can expect five questions so roughly i can say you that 40 to 42 marks you can expect from these 10 chapters of pu2 okay so you have to like read each and every question of pu2 very very seriously okay so in general i can say almost 40s to 46 questions that is 77% of the paper will be from your second pu and 14 questions or i can say roughly 23% of the paper will be from your pu1 now coming to the pu1 syllabus okay you can just see one questions from all of these chapters expect uh, except there are certain very important chapters that is your chemical bonding where you can expect three questions then you have equilibrium where you will expect two questions then you have redox reactions again two questions and then we have hydrocarbons where you can expect two questions okay so now when i talk about these two chapter okay organic chemistry and hydrocarbons so these two chapters go hand in hand right you should be knowing the basic fundamentals to do this question this chapter so these two chapters together can give you two to three questions okay next chemical bonding very very important vesper theory you must study properly then thermodynamics every year you get one question so that you cannot avoid structure of so these are the topics that you should be doing from your pu1 to get a safe score now uh, some basic concepts of chemistry it is something which you should be like it's a fundamental chapter we know that we use it in daily uh, chemistry so that is why that is also important okay now moving to physics if i tell you okay so you can expect almost five questions from the first chapter that is electric charges and field electrostatic potential and capacitance is not a very high weightage topic you can just expect two questions then current electricity six questions moving charges and magnetism five questions magnetism and matter two questions electromagnetic induction two questions alternating current four questions okay so i have highlighted all the yellow color topics are high weightage topics where you can expect four to six 
six questions okay you can take a screenshot of this one now these all topics are moderate weightage where you can expect two to three questions like wave optics dual nature atom atom nuclei and semiconductor electronics okay and these two chapters here okay and here electromagnetic waves is a very very low weightage topic one mark questions you have to you can do it okay now basically if i tell you, you can expect 40 to 45 questions from your pu2 and 15 questions from your pu1 so now if i show you the pu1 number of expected questions you can see all the chapters will have one one questions okay so if i just imagine that i have uh, 40 questions from pu okay 40 questions from pu2 and in this one i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 right so i can like 14 questions will be from your pu1 okay so i can say almost 46 questions will be from your pu2 14 questions from pu1 and out of that every question you can expect one or two questions okay one question especially this chapter is very important system of particles and rotational motion where you can expect two questions so when you are doing pu2 syllabus and then when you're moving to pu1 try to complete this chapter first okay now let's discuss about the math syllabus so maths you have all the high weightage topics you can see four to five questions you can expect from these topics that is determinants continuity and differentiability application of derivatives and integrals next you have vector algebra and 3d geometry again four to five questions probability four questions okay relation function again three questions you can expect now one or two questions you can expect from this inverse trigonometric function matrices aoi differential equation and linear programming one question so these are the high weightage topics that you should be doing now if you see almost 43 questions out of 60 can be from your pu2 okay and 17 questions will be from your pu1 now let us see the uh, pu1 disc uh, weightage so generally what happens you can see very uh, uh, topics like you can see relation function can have two questions sequence and series and limits and derivatives but what i feel about this one is you already have relation and function part two in pu2 right so if you do that completely you will be able to score these questions as well same thing applies for your probability one when you have done probability two you can easily solve questions of probability one similarly like limits and derivatives if you have done derivations integrations then these questions can also be done now sequence and series is something which which is not related to your pu2 so you have to focus there and all other chapters you can see trigonometric function complex numbers inequalities p uh, permutation combination state lines conic sections these all carries one 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 mark so you can select the high weightage topics and complete them first so that is your this one this one and this one okay okay now we'll move towards what should be our preparation strategy so we want a very good rank right we have seen the distribution of pu2 and pu1 in all the three subjects more than 70 percent questions will be asked from your pu2 so what will be our preparation strategy here we have to focus more on pu2 than pu1 okay so many of you are worried that my pu1 syllabus is not done okay so please leave that uh, tension that your pu1 syllabus is not done if you do pu2 syllabus very very well so that you can at least get 40 plus out of 60 in all the three subjects then also you can get a very good rank okay so your first so it is not that you should do only pu2 but it is like you should focus only on pu2 first okay you should not go or uh, run or worry about the pu1 syllabus next thing complete all the chapters of pu2 without fail so in pu2 chapters i will say there is no option please do each and every chapter which is there in the syllabus now when i'm saying you that you have to do what exactly you have to do you have to make the concept you have to understand the concepts you have to make the short notes okay then you have to do at least last 10 years of PYQs for all the chapters of KSET PU2. Okay. Then after that, you should solve at least 10 mock tests before the exam. Clear. Now, from where will you get these questions in the channel? In our channel, you can see all the chapters PU2 uh, chapters PYQs, KSET PYQs are already covered. Okay. Fine. Now, what is the smart strategy and the easiest way how you can get top 1000 rank? Okay. So, this is something which is like i can say uh, a game changing uh, thing you can do if you 
कैन टारगेट 290 प्लस इन पीसीएम इन योर पीयू टू ओके सो इफ यू डू दिस मच राइट इफ यू गेट 290 प्लस इन पीसीएम देन हाफ ऑफ द वर्क मोर देन हाफ ऑफ द वर्क इज डन ओके आफ्टर दैट इफ यू जस्ट गेट 120 130 और सॉरी 100 एंड 100 प्लस आल्सो यू विल एंड अप इन अ वेरी गुड रैंक एंड 100 प्लस इफ आई वांट टू गेट आई जस्ट हैव टू स्कोर 30 35 आउट ऑफ 60 राइट सो दैट इज अ वेरी गुड एंड इजीली स्कोरेबल मार्क सो योर टारगेट एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम व्हेन यू आर जस्ट अ हेड ऑफ योर जस्ट सॉरी जस्ट बिफोर योर बोर्ड एग्जाम्स शुड बी हाउ कैन आई गेट 290 प्लस इन पीसीएम put your all efforts in getting this target otherwise it will become little difficult because if you do not get here then you have to work very hard for your uh, i'll say case at examination okay so please try to achieve this whatever is required here do do as many sample papers as required do as many mcq questions whatever is required invest all your time in achieving this target at this point of time okay next is yes so here to getting that 290 plus in your uh, exams okay we have done everything that is required so our channel provides all the basic all the important uh, requirements that can help you to get that 290 plus how see you can just go to our channel and you can just this is our channel you can see here the interface you can just scroll down and you can see one important session pu2 important sessions for 2025 examination so this is this section is particularly designed for your pu2 exams so the first thing that you need for pu2 exams is question practice long answer questions so for that you can sub, uh, follow our brahmastra series where we have given the most expected most repeated most important questions okay and in chemistry for each chapter i have given almost 40 plus questions so if you do those many questions then not even a single question will be left in your pu2 examination okay so this is for all the subject pcmb okay similarly in our chakra view series you know many students lose marks in mcq so to help with that we also have this pu2 chakra view series where we have discussed the most important mcqs clear now mcqs are done this is done our preparation is already done now we should also write test okay so for that our channel diksha vedantu has brought to you pu2 success blueprint test series okay and this test series has 12 mock test okay in that we have four part test plus eight full length test okay covering the subject pcmb okay and cs so you have physics chemistry maths bio or cs okay now the best part here is we are giving you offer at this point of time so we are giving 20% off on the pu2 success blueprint test series and you just have to use this coupon code that is pu2 exam 25 if you use this coupon code 20% off means almost rupees 100 120 120 rupees will be off okay and you can uh, access our test series at it was 599 right so now it is almost you can get it at uh 599 right 480 almost at rupees 480 you will be able to get and this money is nothing like it is something that you spend in one time dinner okay or just for a party tea friends if you do you can just spend this much in one time so i can say you can just definitely spend this much to uh, for an investment for your career for your marks this is something which will be achievable so this test series you will not only get the question papers you will also get the pdf solutions and your video uh, solutions with detailed explanation okay and one shot revision videos are also given so in our channel you won't find this two playlist so this is only for those students who have registered for our uh, test series you can see one shot revision videos are given live doubt clarification classes were conducted okay so everything is there so please do check out the test series the link will be there in the description section that will definitely help you to boost your preparation okay apart from that you can follow these two series to start or to just prepare all the questions now to test your preparation test series is mandatory without writing test series it is very difficult to assess your preparation so please make sure that you purchase the test series before the discount offer ends okay So yes students that's all and i hope that you have got a clear thing what exactly you have to do 
first thing is you have to target 290 plus in PCM in your PU2 board examinations and then after your exams are over when you are preparing for KSET at that time also first priority should be given to PU2 chapters. Okay, so yes students that is all in this video and I hope this video was helpful any doubt any clarification is required please put down in the comment section I will definitely address and do not forget to subscribe our channel many more videos are going to come up in future to help your preparation. Thank you.